Hey, what's good? It's your boy, Mr. Wonka7, back again with another episode of Live Alive. Now, I made an attempt to face the super, not the super boss, uh, the optional boss, King Mammoth, in our levels, which we're underleveled. We're both in level 12. We're supposed to face this guy at least at level 14, which... Ordinarily, that doesn't sound significant, like... But we got our asses clapped. I think I know what kind of boss this guy is. King Mammoth. He's magic-based. If you use physical attacks, it doesn't matter how strong you are... He will negate 75% of it. The damage will be minuscule. But I do plan on beating him because... Not because he's a challenge, but because... There's actually a pretty decent prize for taking on this optional boss. He's not a super boss, of course, which is why they actually do give you a decent prize. Because he's not an end-all, be-all challenge. He's just a more than typical challenge given to a player so that there's a prize he can earn. And used to his advantage. It's a lot more aggressive than he usually is. Don't murder, man. Oh great, so now we're going to level up at different times. One glitch I've noticed in this game is that if you enter the equipment screen and then leave, you get this weird-ass text in the lower left-hand corner, which isn't too bad. I'm not going to complain to Gideon G, because he went above and beyond with this translation I mean this is 2.0 right here I don't know of many people who will remake their translation make it into something even more decent than what it already is Now again, once he's done with his uh, Dark Half translation, or hacking, he will move on back to Romantic Saga 2 and Shin Megami Tensei If. But he does work a full-time schedule with his job that isn't pertaining to gaming at all. He has a real job. I think he works like a 60 to 80 hour schedule. So yeah, he's working full time and he needs his slack off time and his time to work on other projects as well besides the shit that I want, which of course is going to be a square RPG. Thankfully, people are like lighting up the workload for him a couple of months ago uh, the guy that finished the guy that's finishing Romantic Saga 1 also finished up the Kyukayu Megami Tensei games which is the remake of the first two Megami Tensei games not Shin Megami of course you know, the encounter rate is 
Although it's not really a random encounter rate. But it's still pissing me off. Again, I can run from it anytime I want to, but still I'm pissed off about it. I'm gonna need you to fuck off so uh, my boy Pogo slash Ryder can do his job of smashing these hoes. That's how you do it. Now where are we supposed to go to... Get out of this hell hole. Let's go back. Follow a path westward. Or... Okay, so they call it transmuting items when you turn take two items into one. Next. Mm. Yeah, I cannot wait until these guys are powerful enough to take that guy on. It won't be too long now. But I will need an optional item in order to get the job done. This chapter has side quests in it. I don't think a lot of them do, though. It is supposed to be more familiar to us JRPG nerds than the other chapters of Live Alive or the other s stages, I guess. Scenarios. Yeah, scenarios is a perfect word to use because this isn't linear. And these aren't just stages to be completed in a simplistic level like fashion. No, these are scenarios. These guys suck. Yo, the count. You can clearly tell these are invisible enemies and not random encounters because I'm not even taking steps. But again, the battle system, I mean, not a battle system, battle theme is great here. Like, I never really looked back, I never really looked into the music of this game. I figured, if it's any good, I might want to hear it the first time as I'm playing it. But this stuff is type fire, like. Okay, thanks. He said that? That you weren't attacking? That was a little scary. Anyway.
Anyway. Anyway. He's surprisingly holding on his own. Usually my ape sidekick gets killed instantly. Yo, this cheesecake donut is actually pretty good. The situation is looking grim, so I suggest you pass. Alright, Ryder, kick his ass. Yeah. That's the one advantage of strategy games. Your fluffy and squishy characters can fall back. See, Ryder can actually tank blows because of the way his equipment is set up. This is supposed to be our destination, so... Let's move on out. I know a lot of people listen to Let's Plays because they want background noise, not because they care about the actual game, per se. So, the sound of me eating probably would turn them off. Oh, hell no. They got the stupid Legend of Zelda guards that have whack-ass peripheral vision. And they can't see more than two feet ahead of them. You know, the ones like in Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. Okay, let's see. Let's see, in this area, there's a sleeping caveman blocking the left path. Go up the right path and walk to the north edge of the cliff. Yo, my ape sidekick has RLS. See his foot game? It's like he's dodging knives at a marketplace.
What the fuck was that? The storyline's getting way too complex now. I thought it was just Zacky and shit, but now it's these weird ass monsters and shit. What the fuck? Okay, there are three doors here. The leftmost middle doors lead directly into a battle with 15 cavemen. After that battle, an endless flow of cavemen will continue to chase you until you leave that area. Okay, so if I take the rightmost path, then that's the path that's going to take me to the end of this game. So I could go there and do some shit, but after that, I got to turn back. Let me do this carefully, actually. I'm saving like I have OCD. Okay, so that's how it is. Wait, I'm going at this solo? Well, that sucks. Good thing they suck, too. Damn, I'm running through these guys like it's nothing. I feel like Sora in Kingdom Hearts 2 where he just turned uber all of a sudden. Damn, I'm spanking these guys. Kick his ass. They look like those caricature portraits that you get if you, uh, Show up at a music park, amusement park. Am I forgetting someone? Where's yeah, this is getting annoying now. Oh, my bad. I wonder how much EXP I got out of this.
hopefully a lot. Quick, hit the X button. Oh, that explains a lot. Seems as if my bro didn't come with me. Yeah, but this shit is blowing my These give, guys give out like 1 EXP or 2. Let's find out. 1. And so if there's 15 of them, that means I'm getting 15 a pop out of entering these doors. Let me get set up to fuck the rest of this game up. Hell yeah. Wait, did I turn the right lamp up? I might not have. Nope, I turned this lamp up. No biggie. <laughs> I passed it to myself. This fight should be tedious and annoying, but it's actually kind of fun. Because it gives you a sense of power. Like, I'm too nice for these guys. Kick his ass. Yeah. What was that sound I heard? Oh, hell no. I shouldn't be eating this stuff while wearing black. I assume we could start level grinding here just spamming the confirm button. You would be late by morning. This is probably meant to drive you crazy more than anything else. After all, I am walking tile by tile and getting encounter rates up the ass. Like sometimes it's just in the midst of an animation. I'm getting Xenogears flashbacks from when you were in, what was that, uh, 
yeah, Solaris. You're in that Solaris like uh, underground laboratory, and there were all these mutated creatures that wanted you to kill them, but they also were turning into monsters that wanted to eat you. So that was kind of fucked up. Seeing these guys chase you to their death reminds me of that. Although I assume you're not actually killing them. But these guys are right overpowered. Not. They're overproduced, though. How do you got so many identical looking jabronis? Seeming like a WWE, like, C show. And I hate when Dominicans are on the phone. They just yell. I hear everything in the conversation. Now I'm just looking for an exit. I'm almost... This will be the portion where I tell you to click ahead. Don't bother watching all of this shit. I mean, I have to keep going because I already showed you some scenes that are relevant to the plot. And I saved over them, so. My own incompetence bit me in the ass. So what the fuck is happening? He's getting fucked by two bamboo looking motherfuckers. Okay, let's see. Let, let me save Gory right now. Oh, hell no, don't jiggle your shit at me. I'm confused. Is this the wrong guy? I'm rightfully confused. So it's the Ku tribe.
Yeah, that's weird. What did I do right this time? Okay, you gotta stop fucking with these bamboo hoes. They're not good for you. Oh, I just have to talk to him multiple times. There you go. Okay, the next room, there should be a door straight ahead and a door far to the right. The room straight ahead contains nothing but a big stick and a bone. Well, we will need a bone. I'm sure we have plenty of those already. So now you can share with me the EXP glory. Ryder is on his way to level 13. Yeah, his simple attack is his best move, actually. You don't really need any fancy tricks with him. I mean, it does a lot of DPS, and it doesn't take a lot of time to dish out. In fact, it's instant. No casting time, none of that shit. Wait, is this really the right way? Well, this room now plays harmless music, which means that we're good for now. But once we go past that room, we end up in an area where we will have to be doing uh, endgame shit. So that's the point of no return right there. It's kind of like that last room in Kingdom Hearts 1, that room that had that fountain and shit, and that creepy ass door. And Kingdom Hearts was such a good game. Motherfuckers get so confused, like, stupid-ass normies when I say that Kingdom Hearts sucks now. Because they really don't get where it's coming from. It's just a bunch of, like, dumbass, like, white trash and, like, uh, 12-year-olds, like... How dare you say that about Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts is great, you're just a stupid nerd. Guys, I'm saying that as a fan. But don't get it twisted. The remakes have been great. They have reminded the skeptics such as myself what is great about Kingdom Hearts. And Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to kick ass because Kingdom Hearts 3 will have to deliver and will deliver what it needs to. 
unlike all these bullshit ass side stories and like bullshit cash flow games that are meant to further complicate a story to make more money and more installments, more like extra releases. I mean, Birth by Sleep Final Mix is evil. Okay, is this place going to be harmless now? I hope so. Yeah, this area is harmless unless you go into one of the doors. And then it's a string of never-ending battles. I'm not so sure about this area in particular. Nope, this area is still deadly. You know, they should be working together. That'll be more convenient. Fuck that mini mammoth. That mini mammoth is gonna do shit. I mean, he's tanking this shit. This guy shouldn't be able to tank anything. Meanwhile, Ryder here, green helmet head here, is supposed to be the tank and the badass. And he's just doing him right now. Yeah, them giant meaty bones are useful as hell. Trust me, you will be using whichever you get when it comes to fighting King Mammoth. You'll be using all of them. Every bit counts. Even if I have 99 of them, motherfuckers, it's still not enough. Hard Rock found. Yeah, this shit is starting to blow mine, so... Let me go to the center and have this guy release the Kraken and shit. That was beyond useless. Blum Blum can be actually be kind of good. So what, he's just flexing and the other person gets turned on? Oh, 
Oh, this guy's tanking her hits. I'm actually impressed for him. Of course, it could just be because he has a lot of hit points. Not necessarily because of defense or anything of the sort. From what I can tell, leveling up just boosts your hit points. It's not really that useful. It is for optional bosses that take out a lot of them, but in terms of building attack, not really. You do gain new abilities for every level up though, so I guess if you need a specific ability to take down a boss, then that's a reason to grind. But other than that, it's just for hit points. Keep in mind, we are as strong as we need to be to defeat the final boss, if not more strong. For this uh, scenario, that is. Not the final, final boss. Yo, his face is pissing me off. My ape sidekick friend. By this point, I've pretty much established the green-haired guy's name is Ryder or Pogo. But this guy, I keep forgetting that his name is Gory. Gory Guerrero? Nope. That looked weird. That was a weird cutscene. That just looked bizarre and out of place. <laughs> this guy, like, he pretty much, he pranks his friend. He, he gets him and shit. But then when the dude falls down because of the prank, he acts shocked and guilty like he just committed a murder because he probably did commit a murder but my son why are you so shocked by it you knew what you were doing when you stood over that guy there is no reason for him to be so shocked but then again like little ass kids are like that too little ass kids will like endanger each other and then, when that other kid gets into trouble because of what he did, he'll, like, freak out, like, Oh my gosh. What's happening to you? What did I just do? Uh, really, that's just a kid's natural way of uh, getting out of the blame and criticism for fucking another person's life up or endangering them. Oh, if I act guilty, maybe the other person will, um, throw the penalty away from me. Okay, so, 22 until next level up, and, uh, 79 until next level up. Return to the world. Pogo was exiled to and claim a fantastic. Step out back to the room with Zaki's pit in it and then exit the room. Okay, so I'm supposed to examine a rock that looks like a face. I bet you I'll find a rock some time in my life that looks like Kanye West's face.
to Southwest. Never eat. So that'd be down left. <clears throat> the guide recommends you clear out all the enemies, or at least a lot of them, to prevent distractions from occurring. But I really don't think that'll be necessary. So this is the rock that looks like a face. I can tell it looks a little like a face. I was expecting a well-defined face, but no, I'm instead of getting a vague, introverted-looking face. It's not very memeable. This face that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 66, 64, 65, 66, 7, 8, 70, 7, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, All right, counted it properly and heard a sound effect. Now where do I go? Alright, so a slab should be somewhere near that uh, transmuter slash drug dealer that we saw before. I mean, he's a caveman, he's a shaggy haired dude, so I'm going to call him a drug dealer, especially because he works with resources, paraphernalia and shit like that, but really, no. Nah. He's just a transmuter. He works a synthesis shop in a way. <sighs> Dishing out he just made me claim a literal L. That shit had an L shape on it. I feel insulted. I'm gonna have to kill him with Pogo slash Ryder. And he's finally level 13. Not that his level really matters, actually. It doesn't. The sound effects kind of remind me of a Pac-Man game. Again, this is the first Square game I've LP that has no involvement from Hironobu Sakaguchi whatsoever. They didn't even slap his name in the credit as an executive producer or anything.
but this is like the third or fourth game I've worked on that has some kind of involvement from Takashi to Kita, so at least there's that. Atta boy. <clears throat> What people shouldn't be criticizing right now is the battle system. What people should be criticizing right now is the number of enemies on the map. Now this game doesn't have any random battles, but the invisible enemies kind of make it seem as if it does. You can clear all the enemies out of a room. Which would help simplify things, actually. But at some point, enough is enough. Okay, now I gotta be really careful when I approach this slab because I could end up fucking this up for myself. Okay, that's the room that opened up. Did I do it right? Basic rock. Let me see. Well, should it have been a hard bone? Actually, I did it right this time. So, with that said, I have a basic rock. Now, who do, how do I equip this? Okay, so it's an accessory, so. I lose some power, which isn't really useful for the optional boss I'm about to face. Now, let me check the menu. Okay, so I do gotta face a couple of battles before I can be level 14, but besides that... <clears throat> I'm almost on my way to really fucking up this scenario. I'm gonna save every time I win a battle. Now let me not do it. That's actually a little annoying if I did that. I'll save if I level up again. Under this new setup, I might be able to dish more damage out to the optional boss, King Mammoth, since that was one variable I had lacking. Let me also check the number of giant meaty bones I have. I had seven the time I fought him. This time I had, uh, this time I have six. This time I have ten. That's going to be helpful. Okay.
this will take some time. Finally getting to the son of a bitch is half the battle, the other half is fighting him, which I would say the difficulty of the latter half is a little bit more significant. I mean, getting to him is annoying, don't get it twisted, but... You will eventually get to this guy. The battle itself will most likely be a battle of resources and patience, with a little bit of luck thrown in it. I should know better. I should definitely know better. Ooh, my son Mayweathered out of that. Now I was hyping up Mayweather versus Pacquiao back in February, so that battle better to deliver. Cause now, uh, Battle of Gods came out not. I mean, Fukatsu no F, uh, Revival of Frieza, that came out a while ago, and I was hyping that shit up. But now the anime is coming up Dragon Ball Super so that just showed me that I did not disappoint when I said that that shit was gonna be popping cause now they're gonna go with an anime and shit a television series so Mayweather vs Pacquiao better be popping too I'm hoping that Mayweather either wins with a knockout or Well at least this time we're fighting a mammoth, even though it's not King Mammoth. <laughs> either that or Mayweather loses. Either he wins via knockout or he loses, cause if this ends up with Mayweather just being himself and dodging everything, then it won't be wavy. Well, I'm level 14 now, so I don't have to worry about that shit. You see, he's blocking the way. So there's a mammoth around here. It may take a while to face him. So upper 600s, that's as much HP as you're going to need to barely survive this guy. That doesn't surprise me, not one iota, after trying him the first time. Oh man, I am really uncomfortable today.
Does he escape if... I don't know. I hope he doesn't escape, because him escaping this room means I have to do this shit all over again with more encounters. Although I'm saying the encounter, I'm seeing that the encounter rate is calming down. So the predator is around here. I'm gonna just hammer the A button and hope that things go for the best. Okay, now he's here, I guess. And now we get the boss team after after such a long time. The boss theme in this game is so good. You should type it up. That I wish it was a regular battle theme. In fact, I thought it was initially. And while I like the regular battle theme, this needs to be heard more often. Okay. Well, that sucks. Then throw technique. Throw that shit on him. Okay, let's see. But his ass is asleep. Heck yes. From this point, just keep spamming push push. It sometimes causes paralysis, but it's pretty much his magic attack. Physical attacks are brought down by 75%. And the paralysis worked that time, so that's actually good. Well, that's good. Keep him nearby so that you can use giant meaty bones. But in general, just pass it to Ryder. The reason I keep passing excessively and redundantly is because I forget that this is live alive, and the second option isn't magic or skill, it's pass. So, And the first option isn't attack, it's fight, which opens up smaller options. This guy has about... 1,400 hit points. So, it will be a long battle. We're off to a good start. And now things are getting... Complicated. All right, this better work. Okay, now for a giant meaty bone.
Alright, this better work. Hell yeah. See, that's why you need the greater meaty bones. And this should not be so damaging anyway. And you will need to put them to sleep so that your other status ailments can work. Don't get it twisted. The fire field heals him, but it's insignificant. What matters is. Push, push. Don't even bother trying to poison the ground. This is how you get your victories. Ah, oh, great. This better work. And it did. Pass. Fight. Push, push. Mom on the verge of victory. It won't be long now. See, pass. Victory is nigh. Also, while you will certainly get a good drop from this guy, you have a chance of getting a good drop and an even better drop that will make the rest of the game easy randomly, but. If you don't get it, you have to keep resetting it until you do. You can't use save states. Uh, this is a one-time drop, and it's random, and it affects a stat that's really going to make the rest of the game a cakewalk. But never mind that. Let's just body him. Famous last words. We're we're running low right now, so better hope this works. Which thankfully it did.
Yeah, just one more time for the road. Fight. Great. Ugh. That is kind of funny when that happens, but anyway. I'm not going to take that victory. I'm not going to take that defeat, I mean. I'm not gonna let that victory pass me by. That's what I meant to say. But then I also meant to say I'm not gonna let that defeat. I'm gonna let defeat happen to me, or I'm not gonna say defeated. I wanted to say two things, but it ended up converging into one thing that is exactly the opposite of what I meant. Again, this game love this game don't love no one. Okay, so is there no one around here? <sighs> this is why I cannot leave Let's Playing. For months on. Oh, this is why I can't be left on my own devices away from people who speak English. My commentary skills just drop now. I'm not too worried about miss using commentary and speaking without the proper technique or not getting an effective message across whatever cuz doing that would be weird no one's really great at public speaking for the most part or speaking while there's a recording going on that's why editing exists Yes, there are some charismatic people who can do it better than most, but that is a skill that is trained for for years. But I don't like listening to myself derp out as I'm speaking. It kind of throws me off my game. My commentary game, not my Let's Playing. The game I'm Let's Playing. I'm going to be just as good whether I'm speaking off or speaking on point. I think the first day I was recording this, I was on point. Day two, not so much. I think fatigue is starting to set in and my rust is getting the better of me. So the mammoth is around here.
This is starting to remind me of Final Fantasy XV when they were going after that behemoth in episode Duskai. Duske, whatever. Yusuke. Yeah, but Final Fantasy XV sounds like, by the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be fun. It's not going to be that Kingdom Hearts 2.0 we were seeing in 2011 or in 2013, but it looks like it's going to kick ass. They will fix the camera issues, don't worry about it. Just tap the A button and eventually he will show up. Where are you at now? This area is quite spacious, more spacious than it seems. Did he vanish? I finna fight King Mammoth right now. I'm not going to take my defeat at face value. Where'd he go now? We certainly didn't go there, but I like how we get to hit the confirm button when he's around. You don't just touch on him or he touches you. You gotta slam that confirm button. And he is fast, trust me. The dude is in motion, he's just quick as hell. I will have to get a little more lucky, just a little more lucky next time if I intend on beating him. I doubt that the Flame Arena healing him was doing too good of a job. I don't think that was relevant. Maybe it would have been the difference between me barely beating him and almost beating him, but nah. He's just going to keep raising it up. Go get out of my way. I'm determined to face this dude. So they're sniffing. Okay, that those are their noses. I thought they were doing some kind of rain dance. But no, they're just sniffing around. And again, killer deja vu's attack me while I'm let's playing at night. I know it's like when I'm playing video games at night, I always go into deja vu mode. Like I've seen this game before, or this part of the game before, even if it's the first time I see it. And it mostly, if not always, is. Let me see if he's been trapped in this corner. Yeah, you're mine.
This might be the whole LP right now. Me trying to kill this dude. I mean, on a DPS front, it's not going to take too much for me to clap this guy silly. In fact, hit points wise, that's not going to be too relevant. What is going to be relevant, however, is this guy getting out of paralysis, my attacks missing. You know what, it's just going to be whether or not my attacks land. If my sleep doesn't land, I'm fucked. If my... If my push-push doesn't land, I'm fucked. And my headphones are probably picking up the typing noises of me spamming the A button right now as we speak. That's going to be the worst part of it all. Me trying to defeat this guy in a timely fashion. Because this is going to be an hour long video, I can already tell. Oh shit, so that's where he's at. Come on, fuck. If this guy doesn't pull up, then I'm going to shorten this video and then upload it. Just me getting fucked up. Just upload that part. How long until Gory gets to his next level? Not too much. He might gain it after we defeat King Mammoth. I haven't seen a puff of smoke in forever. Okay, so he's staying around this area. Okay. Uh, 
I am freaking tired. Oh shit. Shit. Come on out, man. Going after an enemy I cannot see, only smell. If that doesn't sound cool, I don't know what the... What is cool, then? Oh, shit, I was right on top of him. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, great. My son is speed demon, like, yo. Let me get that out of screen. No self-respecting let's player would let an arrow key hang idly on the recording screen. That's just not professional, right? I mean, it should be gory and writer right now, not gory writer and a black uh, arrow key, black pointer. Great. So now I understand when the guide mentions having to do this shit for three days. It is a bit of an exaggeration, but shit. I'm surprised my hand hasn't fallen asleep by now. Oh shit, I just realized we have a dash button. This is that RPG. Yo, fuck a Dragon Quest. Fuck a. Early Final Fantasy game. This shit has a dash button. I should be able to get him this time. Oh, come on. I'm now using the gunk on my screen as an individual clue. That's how superstitious I've become. All my rationality is over and done with. I'm using gunk on my screen as a sign of where he may be. Although I haven't watched this screen in like four years. Which means I haven't watched it in ever. Well, I, there were several instances where I could have used this dash feature. This game may not look like it was made from 94. It really looks like it's made in like 92, but... It definitely has a 94 philosophy. There's a dash button up in this bitch.
Money sticking around. How fast is this son of a bitch? So if I push these three keys and I hit left, then my screen goes somewhere else. That explains all those instances where that happened. And it's really annoying when it happens too. Motherfuckers need to stop. Maybe I shouldn't be moving all over the place. Maybe I should just be standing in one place, hitting the confirm button until I get the guy. I've been hitting this key, the command key for forever. <laughs> Somehow the music hasn't annoyed me while I'm doing this, so I gotta give props to the composer. This shit should be driving me crazy, but it's not. I've been doing this for 16 minutes, guys. They gotta give us something better than the sniffing thing. Let me check the guide. For once. I know I do it every 15 minutes when it's easy to. Okay, let's see. So I have to trap him in a corner. That's the advice this God gives me. Well, now I'm tapping with my whole body, looking my left foot. Is that thing like it's playing with a bass drum, which... I don't know about you, but... This isn't a heavy metal band, it shouldn't be double bass drumming right now. We're single bass drumming. Money should be around here.
Fuck. Finally. And I get to hear this rocking track again, so you best believe I'm glad about that. I'm not so glad about that, though. Why is he fucking up with that move more often now? Me sneaking in some DPS right now. Ugh. I mean, I hate making that uh noise because that's some like whiny SJW shit, but. Son of a bitch. Pass item. I'm doing even worse now than I did before. Well, I might as well just spam push push. If he's gonna dodge the sleeping thing, I might as well continuously spam this. Pass. Fight. Let me just skip the intermediaries right now. <sighs> well, at least have this work. Pass. Fight. Oh, great. He got up from that. And he's getting 50 turns on my ass. Yo, yo, this nigga crew. Son of a bitch.
This guy is walling right now. So you gotta be around here somewhere. After all of that, just to get my ass kicked like that. completely demoralizing yeah but the hit rate is now that you can criticize about the battle system the hit rate Some of these hits should be able to land and shit. Okay, let me check now. So I think we're right on top of him now. Yeah, but uh, Jero's, no, Gory's nostrils are funny looking. I said Jero, that's how you know I'm watching Blue Dragon right now. Yeah, only See, chill. What is it supposed to represent? Hold on. Uh. 
He should be around here somewhere. We're gonna get this dead eye behemoth right now. This king mammoth. This dick sucker. No. Uh. Yeah. This hasn't really gotten any easier. When uh, you see that spiral, that means it missed straight off the bat. The problem with it missing so often is that there is a point in this fight where he starts to go really aggressive and goes into pissy boss mode and you don't want him to go there. Okay, that's what you want to happen. That's what you don't want to happen, because then... He goes back to being in motion once again. And unfortunately, the man is fast. Ah, fuck. <clears throat> well, this is the first time I've been this annoyed by a game, well... In terms of me let's playing one. And I've played Romancing Saga 3 and all these other difficult titles. Come on, land. Yes. See, okay. See, mind technique. Now, is it E that I have to use? Maybe there's a better move. That won't be necessary, actually. I 
Yeah, I need my DPS. Like it's nobody's business. Uh, no. Good. Now is when a problem starts to happen. If this doesn't work, then we're dead. Okay, push, push. Oh yeah, the web sinks its claws. Fight. Yeah, when he doesn't spin around, that means that he didn't get hit. You really kind of have to fight this all or nothing style. Because otherwise it would be redundant anyway. Nice. Deadass, he managed to get out of that one. Well, now our plans are fucked. Or not, actually. Fuck. Now we're talking, boy. Come on, spin around. Ah, oh, shit. Books. At least that worked. Month. Yeah.
Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Come on. Hell yeah. So that's been the gist of my commentary these past couple of minutes. This really isn't a battle that you can cheese in a way. It all really depends on whether or not the hit lands or not. When it's point blank to the center and he starts spinning around like that, it lands, so. Yeah. Well, it's been getting better lately. Pass, fight, yeah. Well, we're down the last one, the last one, so it's better, it's better count. Ah, it wasn't point blank. Well, in that case, I'm glad I did that. Come on. Ah, shit. Good. Yeah, these one worders are getting they're prevailing in my commentary, but it's better than that than the speech impediments I I say. Hell yeah. Oh, that one was in the center, though. Oh, because he's in a different position now. It's a little different. Pass, fight. Come on. Yeah. I don't know how much health he has left, but... I gotta give it all or nothing now.
All right, come on. He's surprisingly a bigger tank than I expected. Is that really his right amount of hit points? Last I checked, it was supposed to be 1,400. Now I'm just doing invisible rock, paper, scissors with myself. Trying to stay sane. Yes! Yes. Keep in mind, I've been trying to beat a super boss. I beat a super boss twice. Actually, four, two super bosses, wait, and another super boss twice. This week, but this is a match that stressed me out. This one right here, so that should tell you this shit is not a joke. Anyway, I'm guessing that this video is gonna be like one, two, three hours long. It was a pain in the ass, but I'm glad that I succeeded because to make that kind of effort and then lose and have to give up and wait for tomorrow. That would have fucked with me. That would have fucked my night up. But anyways, I'm glad that I succeeded. It's been your boy, Mr. Wonka7. Back in with another Let's Play Classic. And Uxay, I may ick day. That's Pig Latin for Suck My Dick.